Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We are outside the Northern Passage. We're gonna go on a nice leisurely trip to uh, to Zion National Park. It's gonna be. I imagine it's gonna be a pain to. Uh, Cut down on my ammo. I've cut down on my guns quite a bit. Moved everything that was in the dumpster in Good Springs to uh, to the sink. Hey, little lady, don't be scared to join this caravan. I'll keep a close eye on you, real close. Promises. Hey, 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 fuck you! I didn't say nothing about using Psycho! God damn it! I didn't say nothing about using Psycho. But, uh, just talking hypnotheoretically here, got any suggestions? All right, all right. I'm a little light. How many hits you holding? Ten hits will last me a good while. Worth every cap. Now, fuck off. Back. Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy and a vault suit. So what? Sorry. The shit I do with it is so far over your head, be wasting my time to put it in words you could understand. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass, I mean. It's totally mind-blowing shit. It ain't just some bracelet. Know what I mean? Jed says it's got maps and shit like that. So that's how I'm gonna guide this caravan where it needs to go. Not that I didn't know all that already. Huh? Of course I noticed. First thing I noticed about you. Me? I'm so used to wearing mine, it's just normal. Don't think you're someone special just because you got one. Bullshit! Ain't nothing wrong with my pit boy. I, I mean, pit boy! Look, this is a sweet gig for me. Don't go fucking it up. What are you after anyways? I travel light on purpose, okay? But fine, I'll tell Jet I'm carrying less so you can carry more. What an asshole. Where the fuck you think? Vault 2-2. Two -two. That's where I grew up. Oh, <laughs> you've been to Vault 2-2, two -two, huh? I may have been exaggerating a little. Truth is, I got the suit and the pit boy off a dead prospector who came out from Zion. Guy was dead when I found him, okay? Had a ton of shit on him. That's how I know there's good loot in Zion, see? You want to know what I do, toots? Anything I fucking want. I'm one of a kind. I've been places, see? And done things. Lots of them. And when it's time to kill shit up, hell yeah, I'm a fucking storm of death. Something or someone make the mistake of crossing Ricky? I'll fucking dead-eye him, her, or it. In fact, yeah, in fact, that's my nickname. Dead-Eye Ricky. That's my name. Uh, how you think? I shoot things in the eye. That's how good I am. Yeah, I'm that good. Why, uh, once I got jumped by three Death Jaws. Except, actually, it was four of them. Imagine that! But I didn't panic. Because... Because I never panic. What I did was become a storm of death. Shot every one of them monsters pop in the eye. No, no, you heard me right. Death jaws. They're like death claws. But bigger teeth. 
Or there was the time one of them Steel Brotherhood assholes made the mistake of messing with me. Last mistake he ever made. What's it sound like I'm saying? If I was saying what you said I was saying, then yeah, I said it. I was walking along, minding my own, and up pops one of them brotherhoods. He yells, hand over that laser rifle, asshole. So I hand it over, just to make him think I'm scared. But really, I'm not. I never am. Before he knows what hit him, I draw my 11 millimeter machine gun and bam, bam, right through the eye slit in his helmet. DOA. There so is. Or was it a 9mm? Or a 10? I don't know. Don't care. Said I was good at killing shit up. Never said I was good with numbers. Yeah, they don't uh, have eye slits either. They're buddy. Well, I grew up near Dayglow out west, so yeah. I grew a third nut that glows in the dark. <laughs> I'll drop trout for you out on the trail after dark, sis. Let you see what you're working with. Know what I mean? Hey, that's... Man, what a bitch! I was just being friendly! Yeah, whatever. Well, that got me an extra... What? 30 pounds a Howdy. year, I think? Maybe 40? And we're gonna find out a little bit about what's going on in, uh... Around Tahoe from this uh, last. Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. Earning my keep, Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Towns run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factor's off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? New Reno sounds a lot like, uh... Biff's, uh version of uh, Hill Valley from Back to the Future 2. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the White Legs raiding, it was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. What's the difference? Raiders is raiders. Bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them. So we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. Goddamn creepy. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the Desert Rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the White Legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the White Legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. Catch you another time, then. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah, you look the type. 
Wait a minute, I recognize you. Yeah, you're Alice McLafferty's rising star, ain't you? You sure you want to be here? McLafferty's non-competes are pretty rigid. I'm a free agent. Well, it ain't good, I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Uh, voice actor. I think it's, uh, I think it's Lee, isn't it? Imagine he's talking about the White Legs here. That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You've got to get yourself a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. The ones you really gotta watch out for are the White Legs from the Great Salt Lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. Not a very hospitable place to live. Can't drink from it, obviously. They're about what you'd expect. Crazy, jacked up on cams, violent as hell, and not too bright. The worst of the 80s. But we won't be passing through their turf on this run. Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. Shoot! Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there. But that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war. But we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. You'd have figured that the uh, courier would have been to New Canaan a time or two. She's probably been to probably been to every state in the West. Probably been as far as Washington, I imagine. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown. Up in the northern part of the NCR. We run some business through New Reno. They're on the little loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan. And that went all to hell. You ain't wrong. Losing the Salt Lake City run really stung us. If we can't re-establish contact with this run, we'll be in real trouble. Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. The highway is too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The new Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion, and they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyways. I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own, and they're damn fine marksmen, too. Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, happy trails might as well just shrivel up and die. You can just imagine that a pacifist in the waste. Shoot! Wouldn't last long. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan into Zion and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, 
half on return. You'll get a bonus if we make it in design, plus another bonus if we reach New Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. I know who Joshua Graham is. Why, do, why can't... Why can't that be, uh... So we've already talked to Caesar. That should be a trigger like the, uh... The Alice McLafferty trigger. Just don't. It makes the new Canaanites powerful uncomfortable. And it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. I bet you are. But you ain't going nowhere loaded down like a pack Brahmin. You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain, and too much weight will kill you in the thin air. Goddamn, a hundred shit. I think I'm gonna leave all the energy weapons behind. I'm gonna have to leave this. I'll find a. I'll get another grenade rifle. Not a launcher. Oh shit, I didn't realize I had that many doctor bags. Here to jar at me a while longer? Or are we ready to get this show on the road? Wait a minute. I... Are you now? You know, we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one of a kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us.
The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame him. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite bud right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. <laughs>